Hello, my name is Jenna Dykman. I'm a registered dietitian and extension faculty in Cache County, Utah. Today, we will be making home-style herb meatballs that come from the Type 2 Diabetic Cookbook. The only thing that we'll need to prep before um, we make this recipe is to cut up the onion. And for the meatballs, you'll be using one uh, medium-sized onion. And when I'm cutting an onion, I like to first cut off the end of the onion and then I like to cut the onion in half. And if you didn't peel the onion ahead of time, you can just peel the onion. Once you've peeled the onion, um, you'll cut up the onion into slices and you don't want to cut all the way through the onion you want to keep that end attached and that just helps it to keep, keep the slices um, together more easily. And this recipe calls for finely diced onion pieces. Um, that just helps with keeping the onions um, together in the meatball mixture that we will be making in just a second. Now that we have our onion chopped and ready to go, we can throw everything in the bowl and mix it all together. In the bowl, we'll add our onion that we just chopped up. We will add um, two teaspoons of minced garlic. And with this, you can use pre-minced garlic or you can chop up garlic cloves and use that as well. Then you'll add half a teaspoon of ground pepper and half a teaspoon of salt. This recipe also calls for fresh basil. You can use fresh basil, pre-cut fresh basil, or you can use dried basil. Um, if you're using fresh basil, you'll use one tablespoon of fresh basil. Sometimes we don't have fresh herbs on hand, but we will have um, dried herbs on hand. Um, so if you're using dried herbs, you can use, if the recipe calls for one tablespoon of fresh herbs, you can just use one teaspoon of the dried herbs. If you don't have dried basil in your cupboard, you can always use Italian seasoning and that's a good substitute as well. Another um, ingredient that we'll add in is breadcrumbs. So we'll add a fourth a cup of breadcrumbs. You can use plain breadcrumbs, they have Italian breadcrumbs, and you can use either one. Next up, you'll wanna add one egg. So just crack that and add it into the bowl. And then lastly is the meat. With this recipe, it calls for one pound of ground pork. Um, today I'm using one pound of ground turkey. You can use one pound of ground beef um, or even ground chicken. And then once you have all the ingredients in your bowl, you'll just wanna mix everything together. As I'm mixing up the ingredients, I did wanna mention um, you might be wondering, you know, why should I use ground pork over ground beef? Um, and ground pork or ground turkey or ground chicken are um, leaner meats compared to ground beef. Um, and that just means that it, they have less saturated fat um, in, in the meat. And so if you're trying to limit how much saturated fat you're getting, using ground pork, chicken, or turkey is a great option. As you're mixing up the meatballs, um, you'll kind of need to chop up the meat a little bit just to make sure that it mixes well um, with everything else. And once you get to a point where it's hard to stir, what I do is just toss out the spoon and then use my hands to mix up the rest of the mixture. Now 
Now that you have your meatball mixture ready to go, we need to put it on the pan. Once your mixture is ready to go, we are going to make two inch meatballs. So you'll want to have a baking sheet um, and you can line your baking sheet with parchment paper or aluminum foil, whichever you have on hand. And you can use two spoons to get the mixture um, to make the meatballs, or again, you can just use your hands to make the meatballs. So what I like to do is just to get some of the mixture from the bowl and then place it on the baking sheet. Um, and just repeat this process until you have um, the mixture onto the baking sheet. And then after that, we'll go back and we'll roll them into meatballs. As you're getting the mixture, um, remember you want about two inch um, meatballs. So if you get too much um, or too little, um, you want the meatballs ball might cook unevenly. Now that I've put the mixture onto the baking sheet, we'll take that and then just make sure that we roll them nicely um, into the meatballs. Now that we have our meatballs ready to go, we'll put them in the oven at 350 for 15 minutes, and you'll cook them until they're cooked all the way through and slightly brown. Our meatballs have cooked for 15 minutes and they are ready to go. Um, when you're cooking meat, you wanna make sure that it cooked to a safe internal temperature. So you can use a meat thermometer just to check to make sure um, they've cooked all the way through. So for ground turkey, we want the internal temperature to be 165, and this is reading at about 175 degrees Fahrenheit. So we are great for this. If you are using ground beef or ground pork, you'll want to cook your, the meatballs until they're at an internal temperature of 160 degrees Fahrenheit. But now that these are cooked and ready to go, you can use them for spaghetti, meatball sandwiches, um, or even just a great side dish with the rest of your meal.